How's it going, everybody? <clears throat> so today we're gonna do some coolant change and uh, on the old Yamaha. And first, what you need to do is remove this side panel. Uh, I like to take the Nerf bar off too, just because coolant can be pretty grimy sometimes and gives you more room to work. Now, I've already added uh, this billet aluminum super cooler with a temp gauge. And uh, so I know my radiator's dry, but we're gonna take off the radiator cap, and you're gonna uh, take the rubber plunger cap off the reservoir, and then with a little tiny socket, probably a 10 millimeter. This is a 516, but it's gonna work. You don't want to strip it, that's for sure. Again, we're going for this nut here. Try to make a good mess with it. And so, she is a little bit messy. That's why we have rags. Also why we do this in a garage or a shed, not our kitchen. Um, yeah. So, and you were looking for the bottom of the water pump. There's only one bolt. It says they're all 10 mil. And I use the 5 16 There's only one bolt with a copper washer on it though, as you can see that. Nice copper washer. So, keep that bolt in a safe place. And then while our coolant's draining, here the hose is a little squeeze. Yep, she was uh, a little dark. Not the worst I've seen, not the best. I'd say this was about probably about two years since it's been changed and uh, always touch that up with some brake clean to get that off. And what you're supposed to do over here is while that will all drain out by itself, this reservoir you just undo the two bolts, flip it over. Drain it off, try to get it in a pan if we can. And uh Yep, and just let the reservoir bleed dry and let this drip down for a little bit. What I also like to do is fill the radiator with water and flush that out nice and good. But there was nothing in there that uh, didn't like. <clears throat> nothing to look too shabby. So probably just gonna do this amount of cleaning. I'll drain the reservoir, and there might be a couple ounces left in the in the base. But not nothing to worry about if it wasn't a different color or you weren't losing coolant into your oil. As long as you didn't have any leak coolant issue leaks, and uh, it's okay just to. Plug up this bolt and top her back off, run it for about an hour, take off the radiator cap, make sure it's up to the top of the radiator, put the cap back on, make sure it's up to the maximum level, cold or hot, on the reservoir over there, and uh, ride it for another hour, check it again, and uh, give or take maybe one or two tries of doing that, it'll self-bleed itself. You just don't want to go on a poker run for eight hours and be a little low on coolant. Um, in this case, I would definitely notice, say, the three quarts 
of coolant this holds on my temp gauge, I would certainly notice if uh, I was losing coolant or uh, my coolant was losing its ability to cool for that matter. But yep, so uh, this is a coolant drain and just plug that one little bolt back in right there. Like I said, it's the only one on the coolant on the water pump housing with a copper copper uh, washer and uh, yep, and then top her back off. All right, thanks for watching.